morning guys uh welcome back to my channel my name is hannah i'm having breakfast <laughs> why do i always eat when i'm about to talk it's a little bit of a late morning i had a friend over the last couple days and felt good to just turn off the cameras and live if you were with me last week i cleaned for like three days straight so it was a nice break yeah they just left this morning, so I promised you guys a little cottage tour. That's what we're doing today. I found a bunch of old footage from before I even bought the place. And then I was going to just take some scraps from different videos and kind of show each room, walk around, and show you guys how it started and how it is now because I feel like I've kind of cosmetically fixed each room up to a satisfactory space. Yeah, it's just fun to look back on how far it's come. So I'm going to have a little bit of breakfast. And then I got a notification that my package from today's sponsor arrived last night. So I'm gonna walk down to my mailbox and pick that up and then we'll start the tour. I want some music. Aww, I just got a text from Trek saying he was mad impressed with the new toilet and bathroom setup. Before I get too far in, you might notice this, and also this. I uh, got in a biking race with my friend and hit loose gravel. <laughs> That's what that is. I'm fine. I, everything's fine. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go get my package now and you're gonna come with me. It's here. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Today's sponsor is Thread Up. <laughs> Thread Up is an online thrift store, which feels very fitting because August 25th is actually National Secondhand Day. So keep that in mind for this week. They're actually giving you a special offer. So stay tuned for that. I got a little ahead of myself. And the day that I ordered, I started prepping for fall mentality and <laughs> ordered pants and sweaters and whatnot because I have so many summer clothes. I'm excited to get home and I will show you guys what all is in here. I'm really out of breath so I will continue this when I get home. Okay, nice. I love that I was like, oh, I bought all fall clothes. <laughs> this little wrap skirt is from Tommy Hilfiger. I think it was like originally $36 and I got it for like 17. Um, can we just talk about this Topshop tank top? That'll go with like all the other things I bought. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like Laura Croft. These were literally $110. I got them for $30. These are so cute. Look at that. Oh, oh heck yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna live in this forever. I've been looking for a knit sweater for so long and I love that this one's cropped because so many of my things are high-waisted. Oh, I am prepped and ready for fall. Look at those corduroys, heck yeah. What? Oh, so fun. Cropped sweater, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, that's so cute. Okay, holy cremoli. And that's what I got. <laughs> and I'm back in this because it's kind of hot out today. If you're interested in checking out ThreadUp, go to the link in the bio of the video. And ThreadUp is also offering you an extra 30% off of your purchase. If you use my code Hannah 30 go there, use that, have fun. Let's go walk around my house now. Hey guys, so uh, I am at my property, my property. The property, it's not quite mine yet. What the f kind of bug is that? What is that? My it was like two bugs mating on my leg. Feel used. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna just walk around because this is the first time I've actually been here without anyone else. So I'm gonna just take my time and look around and daydream about what I can do with this space. There's my little van in my front yard. Ah! Okay, we're starting outside because we're about to start a, to a tour. A tour. <laughs> we'll start here. There's my cottage. Yes, I've been calling it a cottage because 
It feels like a cottage. It definitely started out feeling like a cabin. This wasn't as homey feeling. It felt like a cabin. To me, cabins are places that you go, you know, every once in a while, maybe on weekends for the summer, like a part-time home. Um, I will say this one still feels like a cabin because it's not finished inside. When I first got this place, everything was overgrown just like this. I live in an area where we don't really have snakes, which is the main concern for a lot of people. If I was in a different region with more scary snakes, I would be more worried, but we get garter snakes and I've never seen one here. Um, if it becomes a problem, it becomes a problem and then I deal with it. I did, however, change this up. I decided in the early spring before things were growing up to make a little wooden path this way. I realize that it's gonna present its own set of challenges over time because it's wood, it'll rot, <laughs> but that's okay. I obviously have not finished. Who knows, maybe I'll do it after filming this video. I walk down this little, little lane, the lane, aw. This is like my little lane to my cottage. Ignore the dead palm plant. I can't keep those alive to save my life. Hung a little hammock here. I like to sit here in the morning. I know that it's not as stretched out as a hammock normally is, but I usually just sit in it like a chair. Planted some things. I've got a grape vine growing here. These tomato plants, I absolutely, they were just giving me all the troubles in the world. They were like, no, we will not live. So I put them off in the far off end of the yard and neglected them. And then they were like, ooh, we like this. Treat us badly. Did you get your tomato plants? I got it one, yes. But the other one. Oh. The other yeah. one's the dead one. But there's at least coming. There are? Yeah. There's not. And came to life and now I have tomatoes growing over here. <laughs> so I don't get it. Firewood. Not enough for this winter, but it's you know, there's more over there and I just have to chop it. Oh come on. Wow, is this everything you guys ever wanted to know ever? All about everything? Anyway, this is the front area. And then we go inside. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. I hope this is okay. Here's the entrance. I have a giant screen porch. Very nice. I think I'll probably put a couch, like a day bed out here or something. This is like one of the most recent rooms I finished, I think. It is one of my favorite rooms because it is very Swiss Family Robinson, Robinson Crusoe kind of vibes. It really just, it, it was very bare. The floor was green and there was not really anything in it. <laughs> I mean, it was just kind of like, meh, just a room. And now I spend a lot of time out here because it's got such a beautiful view of the yard. It's become another workspace. It's all screened in, so it's I can sit out here and, and feel like I'm a little bit more outside. What I changed in here, I mean, obviously it really didn't have anything other than just the green floor and some chairs thrown out here. I really, I just took everything out, painted the floors white. All of these have videos to go with them. But recently, in my actual last video where I was deep cleaning, I ended up taking this mirror. Hi, yes, you are on a tripod. <laughs> I took this mirror out of the living room and brought it out here just because it makes the room, I don't know, it reflects. I also didn't know where else to put it. That was a terrible sentence, but here you go. The mirror's out here now. I still have to figure out what I'm doing with that wall. But yeah, moved some plants around. It feels very jungly. All my shoes kind of stay in one line. I have this shelf that I built. That shelf actually without the shelves in it, just the four posts was in the kitchen. I built that originally as a wood stack pile thing. Anyway, now I have a whole forest in my, in my kitchen. I'm just screwing trees into my house. So I would stack the wood in between here all the way up to the ceiling in the kitchen. And then once I redid the floors in the living room or in the dining room, I had to take it out. So I decided to bring it out here and it was leaning against this wall. And I was like, dang, that's actually kind of cute right there. That kind of ends up being dead space. So I ended up building that shelf, which has been really handy. It just kind of keeps gardening stuff, gloves and some saws and bug spray, rain boots. I don't know, anything that just kind of needs a place. Axes are up there. Kind of love, love it. It's kind of a cute little addition. And then brought that desk over from my old apartment. No. <laughs> Don't do this to me. I stained it dark, kind of fits in with everything now. 
It's actually a terribly unstable desk. So I have it screwed into the wall back there so that it's stabilized. Got some plans, my, <laughs> my bow and arrow that I kind of shoot sometimes. I keep the, I keep the bow up there. Should we try to use my bow and arrow? No. Yeah. So the only thing I want to do in here, I'm the last kind of thing, the problem, the last, bleh, 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 I can't talk. <laughs> the last kind of problem that I want to solve in here is obviously these are screens. So when it rains or when it snows, it all comes inside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at my porch. <laughs> I'm going to have to move some stuff. I think when I get back, it is snowed all over. <laughs> okay <laughs> these ones aren't as much of a problem because there's that overhang up there so my plan which i will probably do when i finish up this video is i bought this painter's canvas tarp and i have my sewing machine and i'm going to cut out things to the size of the windows and then just i'm obviously just hem the edges and put some grommets in and then hang them kind of up there and when it's raining or snowing or I leave for the winter, I'm gonna just drop them down and let them cover those windows so that the snow doesn't get in. That is a problem I would like to solve. The next room that I'm gonna take you to, if I zoom around, there are two sliding doors. This is like the main entry one and this one goes into the living room. But it's really nice because it keeps the whole place feeling very open. I feel like this is all just one big giant room right now, which is another reason I took the mirror out of the living room. It was in front of this door, but it made the whole place feel a little more blocked off. So that's the reasoning there. So I'm gonna walk into the living room. Again, there's the porch. It's all kind of one big square. Yeah, this room was huge undertaking because this room, I'm going to insert some footage now because this room wa didn't have any walls or ceiling. This room is really dirty. This is like the living room area. I put all that in when I moved in. That was one of the first things I did in this house and I've slowly added to it over time. The trim was not always great either. So that was a newer addition. These shelves are newer from this year. Okay, what's happening? Everything else I did last year before I moved in. And so this bed is actually a twin size bed from one of my first apartments ever. Like I think I was 20 when I bought this twin size bed. And then obviously I've upgraded, but I use it now as a day bed. I just bought some big giant pillows from Ikea a million years ago. I really love a green space. So lots of plantage kind of viney hanging. It's just a good way to fill in space. And I feel like it really makes that wall just kind of, instead of being overbearingly white, there's that break upage, break upage. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I don't know. It just feels very much like a study, a space, study, a study. There we go. On the flip side of the room, I have my desk. I ended up making this desk because when I first moved in here, there was nothing here before I moved in. I'm gonna set you on a tripod, my arm's getting tired. Okay, can you still see me? Yeah, you're a little crooked though. I got you, boo. Desk, it's just a floating desk. It was uh, not there <laughs> before. There was nothing under the stairs. It felt like really wasted space. It was kind of just dead space. And obviously my house is pretty small, so I just wanted to kind of maximize what space I could. This actually, a lot of things that I come up with have a tendency to just be things that I moved somewhere in the interim. So just like that wood pile stacker thing that I moved out onto the porch and was like, oh, that's cute. I actually had been cleaning the dining room, that room over here, and I had shoved the dining room table under the stairs just to get it out of the way and it was there for a while and after a little bit I was like I could keep it here and then I was like no don't keep it there because you need a dining room table and so instead I just bought some pine boards and it's now a very nice workspace bought an actual desk chair <laughs> and yeah that's kind of all there is to this desk area I don't know what else to say yeah okay moving on so again porch if you come in through this door we've got the living room and then around the desk is the dining room, which is actually kind of anticlimactic. Dining room is quite sparse. It's a table and some chairs. I will get the better look over here. This is the dining room. Wow, it's dark. <laughs> Can you see me? This is the dining room. Very empty. There's more screen door over there. That's my backyard. There's a fire pit out there. This room I really have not done much to other than I put in 
wood floors, which is so nice, let me tell you. These wood floors right here, these ones. Definitely didn't install them correctly. I don't know how to put in a floor. I just made it up as I went along, but it's just pine boards stained dark and screwed down. No man is worth the aggravation. That's ancient history, been there, done that. Whatever. But it looks so good because for the longest time, it was, I don't know, green turf carpet? Not turf carpet, I don't know. Just green, green carpet. It was kind of gross and I just, it was in here for way too long and it was, <laughs> it was such a game changer when I put in these floors. It just makes everything look so bright. The, the carpeting really sucked all the, the light out of the room. And so now it feels very big and airy and spacious and just polished. What I would like to do in here is take this table out. It just kind of protrudes into the room a lot and makes the space feel smaller, I think. So I would like to take it out and build like kind of a bar area here, but with a flip out top. So that if I wanted to, you could just sit at the at the bar and that's nice and it keeps the room really open. Or if you were having company over and wanted the extra table space, you could flip the top open and out and then you've got that, like the same kind of space that this is. Next is the kitchen. Hello, hello, hi, this is the kitchen. That's the kitchen. I have just scrubbed the floors, obviously I have an oven, there's a gas tank behind the cabin. I have running water in here. I'm gonna have to rearrange this kitchen, I think. This is probably my, the room I would like to keep working on. It's just, still doesn't feel like it functions the way that I want it to. It was very different from what when I first moved in. There wasn't, there's still not much counter space, but I built this counter here. I built this out, so it's kind of an L-shaped counter. This has been great. And then there's this little, counter over here, which also wasn't there. And that has both been really nice additions to the kitchen. I had a bunch of cabinets in here. There was like a cabinet over here, a cabinet over here, and they kind of protruded into the room and made the room feel very much smaller than it is. So I took those out. I put this big long shelf in up there. Painted the floors. The floors were pretty gross. Six, seven, eight. Dance with me in my backyard, boy. This room in at most feels like I just fixed it up cosmetically. There are so many things structurally that I want to change in here. I would love to just move a lot of things around. So what I'm thinking is I might eventually someday put a window in here in this wall because the kitchen is so dark. It feels like a black hole. It's actually darker in real life over here than it looks on camera. For those of you worried about losing any insulation, I would be worried about that too, but this place is practically made of windows. So one more, I'm not entirely worried about. <laughs> also would love to get kind of a deep basin sink. Right now it's a, a little questionable and I would love to put it over there under the window. So then make more counter space, maybe remove this, this stove. This stove is really inefficient. It just eats wood like nobody's business. I had a really rough time with this stove last winter. Probably totally fine for shorter amounts of time, but living here full time in the winter was nearly impossible because I was just working all the time to just stay warm. Okay, I'm officially too cold. My fire is... I just got up to check it and it's like, it's sort of going. It's just not a very efficient stove. That's on the horizon somewhere. I just, my brain is so frazzled all the time that that's gotta go on the back burner for now. So that's the kitchen. That's what I want to do with it. I would love to take out these floors too. And it all just needs to get re redone. But for now, it's pretty cute just for what it is. There's the kitchen. There's that main doorway I was talking about. Again, it's all just one big square. There's the door we came in. It's just one big loop. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take you up the stairs because I feel like as much as I love my bedroom, it's kind of anticlimactic. These stairs are super steep and very narrow, but I've not had any problems with it. So we climb up the stairs. Um, I'm gonna take you up to what I think is going to be my bedroom. Right now it's just this like kind of dingy, loft area but it's got this cute loft situation right here so i think i'm gonna put like my bed here and then clean up this space and do some sort of closet area over here because i have so many clothes and 
and up the stairs we come through this little hole in the wall and this is my room it's pretty sparse what we just came up is this and then there's a loft above it this is kind of what you look into right away we got just like a floor and a rug <laughs> And I got shelves where I keep all my like pants and shorts. I built out this metal pole and this is where I hang all my dresses and whatnot. This is just extra storage. Holy shit. Love living lawn, I love living lawn, I love living lawn. Oh. Laundry basket. And then if I turn around, there's my little loft bed. Pretty dang cute. This room did not look anything like this when I bought the place. I did a lot in here. I cleaned everything out. I painted all of the walls. The ceilings are majorly different. I mean, you can see where I wasn't 100% amazing at finishing them off, but underneath those ceilings was some, some uh, interesting texture and paint. It's so hot. So I just got kind of this like fake board stuff. It's all just panels that are meant to look like wood. I think they're meant to use on walls or flooring, but I used them on the ceiling, so now it looks like wood. And that was a lot of work. This whole room was a lot of work, considering it just came down to this kind of sparse looking situation. It functions and uh, it's pretty cute for what it is. So now I'm gonna come back down here. And then back through here. Okay, right across the hallway. This is not a hallway, but basically, again, porch, main entrance. Walk through here. Between the kitchen and the dining room, there is this door that leads into the pantry. The water heater's over here. The fridge is in here. And then the bathroom is through here. There is no toilet. <laughs> I have an outhouse. There's the shower. And there's really nothing else in there. The space had so little storage when I first got it and it was pretty dingy. The bathroom and the pantry I'm whew, pretty proud of. This is where my water tank and my water heater are. And you're right back here to me. Whoa, girl. They're under here. I'm aware that they should have a better way to be accessed. Again, one of those things that's on my to-do list. I've been thinking about putting like a hinge on this so that I can just open it up. It's more like a cabinet. That'll happen. I'm just so tired. And then if you come in here. Oh yeah, I redid all the floors in here too in the same kind of wood, wood situation. My refrigerator is in here. There's just not enough room in the kitchen for it. So fridge is in here. This entire built-in shelf system was not here. It's um been so handy because obviously look at how much stuff I've got in here. And I took all those cabinets out of the kitchen, which was storage space. And now there is not. So we've gotten this. This has been wonderful. I love it. It uh, makes this space just feel so much more functional. So yeah, just kind of like all my cooking stuff, canned things. I've been surprised because the mice have seemed to not have figured out how to get at anything on these shelves. I was considering if it became a problem putting like cabinet doors on them, but I've literally not had any problems with mice on here. Also, I went dang hard on all this like, what is that even called? The, uh, you like... I don't know what it's called, but it's like a printer. It's not a printer. It's like one of those things you put in the letters and you label everything. I went hard with the label maker, my goodness. Woo! I'm amazed you guys have listened to me this long. And um, and then we've just got the bathroom, which is exciting. There is no toilet. I got a toilet. There's the toilet. Yeah, the outlet is totally accessible. Okay. Oh my God, it's fun. <laughs> it's, turn, it's getting real. <laughs> but yeah, this is my bathroom that was um pretty i'm gonna just keep using the word dingy is it better if the lights off no <laughs> not the floors that were in here originally again just more pine boards that i stained <laughs> 
the toilet's new i got a septic system finally and the toilet is still not connected to water so i have to like manually dump water into it to get it to flush it does go out to the septic system now though so that's great and it feels good to have a toilet in here it feels like one thing i checked off my list <laughs> so um again i just kind of continued this built-in pantry thing into the shelving system in here <laughs> which feels good. More storage space. These nice big long shelves. Kind of a vanity sort of thing above the toilet and a couple of little shelves on the side. What do you guys think? Chime in whenever you feel like it. And that's it. I love to have plants in my bathrooms. They um really thrive, especially the pothos. I don't know about other plants, but like the pothos, when I have them in the bathroom, they just thrive because I don't think they need much light, but they love the steam from the shower. Yeah, normally I have one in the shower but it i don't right now so i also have a little shower shelf which i've had in like every single one of my showers ever my sister made the welded the bars that are that length that i'm sure you could order something like that on etsy if you wanted to like custom order i'm tired Whew. I'm just proud of everything. I was really looking through all the videos of doing all of this stuff all the projects i've done and it really makes me appreciate each room because while it it's like a sprinting marathon for each project, it feels like I have enough gap in between each one that by the time I look back on it, it's like, wow, you really did some dang work. And I'm just proud of myself for it. Also, this bathtub was purple slash pink. I painted it with tub and tile. Gotta love a second coat, man. And now it just, it just feels good. It's, I'm just so proud of this. So yeah, there you have it, folks. That is um, the entirety of my cabin. Feels weird to end the tour in the bathroom. So I'm gonna take you back out to my favorite room. <laughs> Okay, hi, you caught me. I it's been I took a break. It's been a couple days. <laughs> I was super tired. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I it was actually surprisingly fun to edit this video. I personally was surprised by how much progress I've made. I don't often look back through the footage so it was just cool to see how far each room has come and how much work i've actually put into things because i think i sometimes forget how manically i can work and so going through and re-watching was kind of crazy i was I, i'm impressed by myself if i do say so myself anyway i hope you guys enjoyed i just looked at my calendar recently and i realized that i closed on the property last year and was able to move in a year ago so it's almost the one year anniversary of living here I'll probably have a little champagne or something to celebrate yeah i'm happy we could have this kind of year in review together i'm glad you guys stuck around again check out thread up their link is in my bio if you use my code hannah30 you'll get 30 percent off of your purchase have a nice week guys love you talk to you next week